I'll put you down until uh, maybe like 11 or 12 noon. And then Janice is coming. And your mom is coming too. And then Samia is going to continue the way. And I think Lucy, I'm just waiting for her to respond right now to see when she can do it for uh, Saturday or Friday. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to photocopy. I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Everybody's going to have a schedule, okay? Changed them. That's why I was crying. Uh, good morning. <laughs> okay, my name is <laughs> Morel. I'm 33 years old. Pare Luis Pamiga, Pare Christos, I say, to Pare to Nepanas, Nanangi. Baba, 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 about my family, uh, everybody pretty much got married except me and my brother. My mom passed away, unfortunately. She was the one that took care of my father. Um, but when she passed away, I started taking care of my dad. Uh, my mom passed away about six, seven years ago, I would say. I can't remember. I think it's 2002. I think she passed away. I could be wrong though. So sorry to bother you. Make it hard to me. Um, maman, maman, more make that in Two o seven. Yeah, more tag some more. Okay, bye. Okay, you're going to your thing. I'm hanging. So five years. 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're in 2014 now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, my mind is going. Seven years. It's been seven years, right? Wow.
that was one moment you see my mind sometimes sometimes my mind is too much like i think too much about like my responsibility my father that is just him vale That was my alarm saying give my dad his insulin, but we already gave his insulin. I have to set a reminders because there's too many things to do for him and I don't want to miss anything. No, Baba. Baba, chen tapir, okay? Chen tapir. We start off babies, we live your life, and then you kind of mimic what you were. You go back to being a, a baby. Yeah, that's life. But he's like a... To me, I consider him like a big baby type of thing. Not in a rude way, by the way. It's just like, because I take care of him on a daily basis, it's like having a, like a child. Like that's why sometimes whenever I hang out with you guys, even though I'm hanging out with you, my mind is on him. Like the roles have changed basically. There was a time where he was taking care of me. Now I'm doing the opposite, you know? Pats, pats, pats. Yeah. In the beginning, it was hard for me, but I know that, you know, obviously if he could do things himself, he would do it, you know? He's not able to, and he used to struggle with me too. When I used to like uh, take care of like cleaning wise, feeding him, he used to fight me, didn't want me to do it, but then there comes a time where obviously he knows he's not able to, so he stopped fighting me and just let me uh, do what I need to do. He feels like he's losing his dignity to his daughter, so like it's very difficult to anyone. You know what I mean? Especially to a man. And then the opposite is, which is the daughter is taking care of him, you know? It's hard. But he knows, I think, at this point, we're doing it because we want him to be well and alive. You know, I, I'm not doing it out of despite. My relationship with my father when I was a kid uh, was fine, but you have to keep in mind it's a Middle Eastern uh, family, so uh, we weren't that close. He would provide and my mom would be more the nurturing aspect of it. But now that I'm taking care of him, I, I feel like I know my father more. Hey, kuwe, kuwe, kie, tamano, hey, kie, kie. At khosu gishes, ma? At khosu gishes? Mita, watch, Bobby, guys. Watch, 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 get. I was, in the beginning, very overwhelmed because it's a lot of responsibility to take care of my father. It's not just, you know, uh, give him his food and then he's good to go. It's not like that. You have to be with him. It's Think of a, a baby. You have a baby. A baby needs their mother always to be with them. Basically, I'm like his second mother. Cry a bit. Whoa, oh. 
shirt soaking up. Whoa, oh, she cried in it. My baby cried in it. She cried in it. My baby cried in it. Baby, why'd you cry? Wipe your eyes. Daddy's by your side. Everything works out in time. Everything works out in time. So, baby, wipe your eyes. Whoa, Daddy's by your side. Everything works out in time. Everything works out in time. Seniors, especially vulnerable ones, don't deserve to go. We could have easily put him in a senior's home, but we don't want him to go to senior's home. He needs to be with his family. And with his family, I feel me taking care of my father, I've um, rehabilitated, I can't say the word. Rehabilitated? Rehab no, rehabilitated him to, Rehabil yeah. Rehabilitated. Exa yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> Das müsst kommen. Nick, hier gut, hier Nick, Charles, Hink, Bets, Jutta, Jutta, Ina, das Nick, hier gut. Schön, Baby, das sind schon wieder. Wir sind noch nicht zurück, nicht zurück. Pavé, ja Pavé. Lass mal sagen, Charles, Hink. I think I got used to it. I mean, maybe the first few, like, months when she started, it was probably a little bit different because I just never understood. She always had to go home or she always, she could only come out in certain hours. But as time went, I mean, throughout our whole friendship, I don't really think much of it. I actually work around her time. It's more like, hey, Merle, what time are you free? Okay, when are you going to be done with your dad? Let me know whenever you're done or I'll come over. They say something about the nose too. Do you hear about that one or no? Yeah, when the nose gets bigger and stuff. Yeah, what happens for that one? I don't know. They say a lot of things. I just. I don't what know. What is it? What do they say about the nose? If your nose becomes big, that you're having a girl. But then again, everybody when you're pregnant, their like, nose becomes big. Everything gets bigger. Yeah. Right? They say if you're having a boy, it usually takes the beauty away from the face. 
So if a girl is really, really like pretty, they say she's not pretty when she's having a boy because the boy that she's carrying takes her beauty away. And if she's having a girl, she just glows like naturally. What's this one? Bravo. But you're not going to fully go up to a woman and say, you're ugly. <laughs> it's because you're having a boy. You're having a boy, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> She does everything and anything that needs to be taken care of for him. The only thing that I'm not doing is making him, uh, you know, breathe on his own. But movements, everything, even for the, I don't mean to discuss you, like number two, I help him. All right, ready? Ready for what? So, I want my dad to have a bowel movement today. So, we're going to put two support stories in for him, I guess you know and then about I would say an hour after we're gonna start to see if he's able to go and if he's not able to go I'm gonna help him um, to go relieve himself like I guess that's the proper word to use like how do you help him I'll be wearing I usually wear four three to four gloves like right after <laughs> another <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just very you know conscious about that part <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Bring some fruits too. Let's tuck that bad boy in. <gasps> How often do you do this? Every two days. The reason why I don't do it every day is because he doesn't walk, so his digestive system is very like slow. And then he usually has a shower too right after. So, you know what I mean? It works out. I can't believe we're talking about what I'm eating. It looks like, you know what? <laughs> Everything that I do happens when he is sleeping at nighttime. Or if he takes naps throughout the day, that's when I do my errands. So I just kind of find a way to work around his schedule to uh, to do whatever I need to do for me. All right. This is going to be probably, Sandra, the quickest shopping you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> How else is it done when it's morale? That's right. I hate shopping. What? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Oh. How much is the pony? <laughs> We're an hour and a half. We're good on time. I don't want people to uh, think that I am basically giving up on my uh, life taking care of my dad because that's not the case. I could and I will, not could, I, w I will get my own stuff together with family, career. It's just gonna be extra work. So I, I don't want people to look at me and feel sorry for me or poor girl, she's taking care of her dad and she's not able to get married, she's not able to have children. I know those things I will have one day.
hardest part for me at the moment is seeing him sometimes be in pain and I can't do anything. I can only uh, give him medication to numb his pain. I have a really good circle of you know people around me that understand my situation and they know the times that I am able to hang out. I have friends coming over. Um, we just we hang out in the back room. Oh <laughs> this is really sad. Yo, <laughs> Onesie's slumber party number one. Yes. We do this annually around Christmas time. It's a way for all of us to get together. I'm pretty sure we're going to be busy over the holidays with our families. So it's something to do for us. So we decided to do onesies. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. I'll show you onesies. Who am I? Ruda. No, it's me. No. It's awesome. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, awesome. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. I think it kind of hit her one time where it's just like, okay, my life, I don't have a life. But then she took it in that this is her life, it's her father, her father is her life, and she embraced it. And it was a beautiful embrace for her where it's just like, there's nothing else greater than having a life with your father, with the with your parent. It was my choice to take care of my father. Um, in our culture, usually the firstborn would take care of their uh, parents. So in my situation, technically it's supposed to be my brother and his wife taking care of my father. 
but I just want to take care of my dad. I don't want anybody else to take care of him. The reason being is I lost my mom and I don't have anybody else. Like, don't get me wrong, I have siblings, but everybody is married doing their own thing. I just want to be able to take care of my father. I wouldn't want anyone else to take care of him. So it was a choice that I made, and I think it's the best choice that I've ever made. So let the end of the world go. Let it go. We gonna keep our group. I think uh, taking care of my father has given me a lot of patience, understanding. Life is basically a circle, like it just keeps going. So whatever you do, it comes back to you. Dance and shout till your problems drop. Life's too good to ever stop. Thank you for coming. She she is one, but she do four persons job. I'm only one person, and sometimes I feel very overwhelmed. Time to me from the time I wake up to the time I sleep. I'm gonna snap her finger. Sorry, Baba. Che, Baba, get sorry, but get cream, get in the work here. I'm fine here, okay? Okay. Sometimes I do wish I had more freedom, but, um, Frustration, we all get frustrated, I think, at the end of the day with whatever things that happens in our life. <coughs> but would I ever change what I'm doing right now? No. My, my mind is set. Uh, I don't regret anything. I, I'm actually thankful that you know God has given me the opportunity to take care of my father. So I don't, uh, there's no like, I wish somebody else could take care of my father. I don't think any of those things. Just very thankful, period. Put you down until uh, maybe like 11 or 12 noon, and then Janice is coming, and your mom is coming too. I'm just making a schedule for my family members and the caregiver to take care of my dad when I'm gonna be leaving for my trip. I'm looking forward to my trip. It's been a uh, long time. Okay. You stressed? A little bit. Just like I have to last minute things. I want everything to be okay with my dad. I want people to okay the schedule. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna photocopy, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Everybody's gonna have a schedule, okay? Janice will be doing the feeding for uh, morning. Alice is gonna sleep over on Friday.
details are underneath here. Mariela of my dreams Mariela in between All my thoughts in outer space You look really great today The actual animal, that's what my name means And you don't like it? I don't like it Because it's a reindeer, I'm, I'm like elf, I'm like Santa Claus I'm part of the Santa Claus family Oh, um.